have got an eclectic mix. You've got Team Penske out there. How about Joe Gibbs Racing, Roush Fenway Racing, Turner Motorsports, and again, the Turner boys making the swap. Reed Sorensen going out in front. Slow oh, oh, and Sam Hornish has spun it. He has gone around. Yeah. Damage to the back of that car, and he's just tight, lightly into the wall. <laughs> Here we go for the final three laps, Marty. Ninth straight race that there will be three or fewer green flag laps to end the race. And you're right. Here we go. Get together here, guys. Our own Trevor did it pretty quick. Got Kyle the and Joey. And, yeah, 01 and 87 uh -oh. got reversed in their order here. A little too much contact between the Gibbs cars. That's going to hurt them as they have drop about three, four positions. And here they go even more. Yeah, and the 2 and 22 are hooked up. As we mentioned, that may happen. Down the back stretch. Oh, and contact. Michael Annette's into the wall. Brian Scott's into him as uh, the 32 of Reed Sorensen does manage to get around. And we're going to have a green-white checker. Yeah, that's why you heard Jason Ratcliffe say at least four more laps, because we can have up to three of these. Not one person is seated right now. Green, white, checker. First one of 2011. Who's going to win at Talladega as they come through the tri-oval? Picking up speed. Green flag flies. And we're racing again at Talladega. Now Mike Wallace and Joe Nemechek are not together. Got new partners. Keselowski right behind Nemechek. By and Mike it's Wallace. I like this. I got the pole sitter pushing me. More with Trevor Bain. Yeah, they're getting blocked. Oh, Whoa, got another spin. Contact. This time, the 30 of Busher. The thir oh, all three Turner cars. Sorensen in the 32. Leffler, who would have come out of here with the points lead. Now, he looks like he's going to be guys. able to keep going, but I don't think Busher's going too far. Running out of cars, guys. So, green flag flies. Hang on. Wow, look at the push Joe Nemechek gets from Keselowski. Yeah, he was up on it right there. Elliott Sadler was back a little bit from Mike Wallace. That's going to hurt their efforts. Right in the middle of that mix. Look at the uh, 16 and the 60. Bain and Edwards. I feel like you, Dale. I think that the momentum at the very end is what it's going to be. The cars up front may not be the ones to, to be here. No, they're sitting ducks out there, I believe. Right now, Joe Nemechek's in the Catbird seat. Got a three-car tandem now. Al Marola's tucked in behind you, right, the 60. Yeah, he took Junior's advice and took off where he could go. But he's going to be a sitting duck here in a second. He is hung out right now. In fact, here come the two Gibbs cars. They go on the high side to get around Al Marola. He is stranded. Coming towards the white flag. This race is official. We will finish it on this next lap, no matter what happens. Look oh, out, it's, it's tight, get oh. tight. Well, that got those separated, the 16 and 16 separated. And that may be all the others needed because look at how far back they have dropped down the back stretch. It is the 18 of Kyle Busch. He has never won here in seven prior starts. Look oh. out, Mike spin, Wallace. Mike yeah. Wallace, and uh -oh. he's up and over. Wallace gets back on all fours. The 38 of Leffler is also involved. The race is going to end under caution. And we'll have to wait for NASCAR to give us the official as to which car was the leader. Still waiting for official word. Here's another angle. A lot of push and shove. You know, Mike Wallace's car really was out of control the whole race. And we've just got the official word. Kyle Busch is your winner. So he is now one in all three well, series here at Talladega. We did it somehow. I don't know how. All right, here's your top five. It's Kyle Busch, Joey Logano, Joe Nemechek is third, Brad Keselowski, and Elliott Sadler. That is your official top five from NASCAR.